I finished my workout and as I was wrapping up at the office, I got hit with some news that our team made a pretty big mistake and it just so happens that we're filming today. So I wanna use that opportunity to talk about bringing your work home with you. Cause right now I can still feel that in my chest. You know, I can still feel the frustration and you know, trying to figure out the solutions that are going to prevent this from happening in the future. But really, I don't wanna bring this with me the rest of the night. I wanna have a glass of wine, I wanna connect with my fiance, and I wanna take a break from all of the stress of the work and the work environment. It'll be there waiting for me in the morning. I'm not gonna solve all the problems tonight and I can't fix this problem. So one of the things that I do to clear my head is go and play some music. And this is what this room is for. This room is our music room. It's for me to jump in here and we can have gatherings and I can play music and the acoustics are great. I don't know if they'll come through on the camera and I'm not that good at playing music, so <laughs> just bear with me, but you'll see part of the process of me getting out of my own head and uh, you know, I think as Paul Cech says, you know, when you're playing the flute, it's like allowing spirit to play through you. You just gotta empty yourself out and allow the wind to move through you. And that process helps me clear my head and hopefully in clearing my head, I'll have a better night, I'll connect with my lover, I'll have a good dinner, and uh, I'll let all this stuff from work go because carrying it with me through all the way to bed is only gonna make me stressed, is only gonna make this night a night that I haven't owned, but a night that I'm getting owned by from my work. So, time to play some flute. Maybe bang some drums. Maybe play the dish. We'll see. That does feel a little better, I have to say. But it's not quite out of my system yet. I gotta use something that makes maybe a little bit more noise, maybe vibrates me a little bit better, shakes me out of it. So I'm gonna move over to the didge and uh, give that a go. Didgeridoo is a Australian Aboriginal instrument that they used to carry and it makes a strong reverberating sound. And the idea is to breathe circularly so that you never stop the vibration, you never stop the tone. It's something that I'm working on. Um, but it's definitely a cool practice. And there's actually a study done that shows that playing the didge helps with sleep apnea. So um, I don't think I have sleep apnea, but nonetheless, playing the didge is uh, one of my favorite things to do. It's getting there. It's getting there, for sure. I might go bang the big drum, see if I can get the last little bit out. Feeling much better now. You know, using this time now, already that created a subtle state shift when my fiance walks through the door with groceries and we start to cook dinner. You know, that's time for me to let this thing go. It's time for me to unpack everything that's happened in the day and start that next chapter. And that next chapter isn't about crushing it anymore. It's not about killing it. It's about enjoying life. And you can't let one part of your life consistently rob from the other parts. You know, that's balance, that's owning the day. It's not getting owned by one aspect of the day, it's owning the entire complexity of the entire day. And that's what I intend to do. And that's what's already begun.